You're going to like this. Our own Eric Chemi testing out the app Home Court, backed by investors like Mark Cuban, Steve Nash, Jeremy Lin, and taking on the NBA's three-point champion, Joe Harris, in the process. He joins us now with a closer look and the results of that shootout. It's game-changing technology that's turning amateur basketball players into the next sharpshooter. Home Court is an app that uses high-tech computer vision and machine learning to improve shooting. 49 degrees. Available in a free and subscription model, the app tracks shots made and missed, launch angle, leg angle, vertical, and reaction time using just an iPhone. No sensors, no high-tech equipment necessary. Today, if you run, you're using your, Nike, your Apple Watch or Nike Run app, or you can track all those miles and stuff. But for basketball, that didn't exist. So the first problem we want to solve for is like, how do we help people easily uh, track their shots without having to do a lot of that manual work? Home court is backing from leading NBA minds like Steve Nash, Jeremy Lin, Sam Hinkey, and Mark Cuban. Home court is a top 10 downloaded sports app in the Apple Store, and it has more than a dozen college and pro teams using it, including Joe Harris of the Brooklyn Nets, who this year led the NBA in three-point shooting and won the three-point shootout. Okay, I feel good. I did play center on my sixth grade basketball team, so. Joe and I went head to head to test it out. Oh, I bricked the first one. Joe's arc is flatter than my big arcs, and his reaction time is much quicker than mine. So you're four of 20, 20%. Um... Oh, I didn't even stand in the right spot the whole time, too. Also notice how consistent Joe's shots are. Every shot's arc tracked the same. Mine were all over the place. We're in the age of analytics and technology. Um, anytime you can put that to use just to help you out, improve, get better, I'm all for it. Joe plans to use home court at his youth basketball camp this summer. As for me, I need a lot more practice. Uh, that backboard's really getting in the way. The applications for this technology extend well beyond basketball. The company's founder tells us they're looking at other sports, but you can even apply the computer vision and machine learning technology to things like self-driving cars. Back to you guys. So, so Eric, four for 20, you shot 20%. I, I mean, that's, that's better than I would have done. It's, act, it, it's I think it's pretty impressive in, ter in terms of those applications. It's a starting point. It's a starting point. Okay. So if I were to keep practicing, the idea is I would get closer to Joe's 80%. There's a sixth grade girl right now. She's taking 100,000 shots this year because she's doing like 1,000 a day. And basically, she can't miss. There's a video of her, and it's because she's using home court. She went from being a bad shooter like me, and now she's basically perfect like Joe Harris. All right, so you got something to work toward there. Yeah. In terms of these applications outside of basketball, when you talk about something like self-driving cars, how does that work? So think about what's happening here. It's a phone, and it's just using the camera. It knows that I'm a person. It knows where the basket is. It knows where the three-point line is, and it knows what the basketball is, and it can track the basketball. So imagine you want to figure out what's a car, what's a pedestrian, what's a stop sign, what's a red or yellow light. It's the exact same technology without using any sensors. You're just using a camera to figure it out. That's the idea behind expanding the use of that technology. Uh, that is fascinating, Eric. I mean, uh... I mean, I think I don't. I couldn't have shot 20 percent from the line. Morgan agrees. John, no way. Yeah, maybe from the foul line. From the, from the foul line. <laughs> uh, but that's technology we're going to be talking about more and more uh, as we get closer to this new era. Exactly. Great stuff, Eric. Thanks. You got it. Uh, Eric Chemi back at HQ.